Hello everyone, my name is Mikael Graham and I'm here representing Heli Direct and this is the conclusion of my mini-series on servos. Let's continue. Alright, let's talk about speed and torque. Um, before I say speed and torque, let's talk about refresh rates. I mentioned it earlier, but generally speaking in today's market, today's world of our RC helicopters, you want to get servos that have the highest refresh rate that you can get, especially on the tail. Um, in today's world, I personally would not use a tail servo that doesn't have a refresh rate of at least 560 hertz. Personally, 333 is just fine, but 560 and above is what I would be looking for. Um, for cyclic servos, I probably wouldn't look for anything less than 333 hertz. Um, again, there are servos that can go much higher. I've heard about servos, uh, tail servos that can do a thousand hertz. So with incredible, incredible uh, speed and torque. Now let's talk about speed and torque. Um, first off, generally speaking, with our tail servos, speed is key. Got to have enough speed to move with those fast corrections. And of course, you need to have enough torque to actually move the tail blades. With our cyclic, with modern day servos, um, you definitely, you, we need torque. But we also need speed too. Um, in today's world, a servo that is that's a transit time of I would say 0.15 seconds, or honestly anything above 0.1 second as a cyclic servo is slow in today's world. Um, if you're not doing crazy hard 3D, it's probably not that big of a deal. But in order to get the absolute maximum performance of your helicopter and our flight controllers. 0.10 or lower as far as speed goes. Now, torque is going to depend on the size of the helicopter. Um, typically, like I said, speed, but you want to get as high torque as you can. Now, I have to bring, be careful about this point. When it comes to comparing servos, you should only compare servos within a brand. You should not compare them across brands. Let me say that again. You should only compare servos, their specs, within a brand and not across brands. And the reason being is because, as I mentioned in my previous video about batteries, when it comes to you know C ratings, burst rating, continuous, all that stuff, not everybody, not every manufacturer tests their servos the same way. And so... Generally speaking, it's generally thought that the torque ratings is stall torque. That is the torque that the servo just can't move. And I can tell you from personal experience that that is not always the case. And unfortunately, servo manufacturers do not reveal how they test their servos. Now, where does this matter? Where does this matter? Why am I saying this? Um, years ago, when testing servos, uh, I had two servos from reputable brands. Um, these were micro servos. One had a rated torque of 12 ounce inches and the other had a rated torque of 19 ounce inches and I tested them and the 19 ounce inch servo I could stall with just my finger. No problem. It was no effort. I could blow it back. Piece of cake. The 12 ounce inch servo pinched my finger and bruised it. And I could not move it. It was very clear which servo was the, was the stronger one. Even though this server reported six, almost 60%, 60% more torque than the other one. And these were reputable brands. And so what I've learned, you know, being on the inside of the industry, some servo brands measure stall torque. Some measure transition torque. Meaning, what's the maximum, um, what's the maximum torque that can go through the entire range within a certain amount of time? And then I've actually learned that some brands, I don't know, at least in the past, I don't know if this is still true. Some brands actually didn't measure the torque of the servo at all. They used the torque and speed of the motor multiplied by the drivetrain without accounting for any losses, any drivetrain losses. And use that as the purported 
speed and torque of the servo. I have seen servos, um, I've tested servos where this particular servo was rated at 450 ounces of torque. And this servo was rated at 200 ounces of torque. And this one was faster on paper than this one. So this particular servo was weaker and slower than this servo on paper. But when I tested them, this weaker servo blew this one out of the water. It was no contest. It was faster. It was stronger. It was no contest. And so what does this mean? Does this mean that you can't trust uh, manufacturer specifications? No, it does not mean that. But it does mean that you can't compare brand A servo to brand B servo. You can compare servo A and servo B within this particular brand because you can trust that they're testing their servos all the same way. But across brands, because manufacturers don't reveal how they do their tests, and they all do tests differently, or maybe they don't, but because you don't know, you can't really compare them. So what does this mean for you? Which servo should you use? What servos should you buy? Well, fortunately, in today's RC world, as long as you choose a reputable brand, you're going to get a good servo. Uh, the days of, you know, this servo is clearly night and day better than this server those days are over they're just about every brand every reputable brand has evolved to the point that everything's going to perform well and unless you are in the upper echelon of pilots chances are you're not going to find the weaknesses of any of the modern day servos so when it comes to choosing a servo make sure of course you get the right size make sure they're fast enough make sure it's torquey enough, but as long as it's from a reputable brand, chances are you can't go wrong. So we touched upon a lot of details about servos today, and I really hope that you've learned something from this video. As I mentioned before, I am not a servo expert, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I would do my best to do the research and ask, answer them to the best of my ability. And of course, if you are in the market for any servos, any new servos for your new helicopter, HeliDirect is the place to get them. So again, thank you guys for watching and happy hovering.